Think of your three favourite movies and I can guarantee you that they will share one thing in common and that is that they've been colour graded. And colour grading with lookup tables was previously specific to the movie industry but now thanks to photo editors such as Luminar AI us mere mortal photographers have access to that tool and in this video I'm going to share with you how easy they are to use. If you're after adding some mood and feeling to your photos, one of the best ways you can do that is with color grading. The movie industry has been doing it for years and finally the tool that they use has migrated over to photo editing. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can make the most out of what I consider to be the most powerful color grading tool inside of Luminar AI. And I'm also going to share with you why I think the way that Luminar approaches it is so much better than Lightroom. So let's open up this photograph here and use this for our example. We're going to come into the edit section. So I'm going to make some really quick minor adjustments just to improve the overall photo. So I want to bring out a little more detail in the sky. So if I push the sky enhancer up, that's helping there. And let's increase accent AI, which often helps us out. I would love to get a little bit more contrast into my image. So I could do that a couple of different ways. But in this case, I'm just going to drop the blacks down so we have a better black point. The reason it was all looking rather washed out was just because I was photographing towards the sun and that washed out our image. I'm now going to just increase the exposure ever so slightly and what I'd like to do is locally bring up the brightness of our model and it's really easy to do with local masking so I'm just going to add a local mask. I'm going to increase the exposure, bring up the shadows slightly as well and we certainly want to keep that contrast present on our model. So now those changes are being applied globally but I'm just going to paint that back in just over our model. I'm going to make my brush size just a little bit bigger by using my right bracket key and now I'm literally just going to paint over our model. Uh, yeah I'm bleeding over the edges a little bit but I don't worry about that and I've painted that with 50% and now I'm going to go over again but just bring up a little bit more detail in the face and upper body. There we go, so if I turn that off and on, I'm happy with that adjustment. If I were doing a full edit on this, I would retouch the little bit of uh, floating dust that was catching the light that's just on our lip here. I would probably get rid of this irrigation pipe here as well. But as I said, this is all about color grading. So let's jump back into our edit section. If we open up the light panel again, which is a really powerful panel in itself, and the first thing I want to do is bring your attention to the profile section here. Now by default we have what is called the Luminar default profile and that is just a generic profile that's interpreting your raw data. If you're working with JPEG files you won't even see that. But I strongly recommend if your camera supports it photograph in raw because it's going to give you more latitude when it comes to editing your photos. Now I'm just going to come down to the camera standard profile and did you notice the change? Our colors became more accurate and the contrast actually improved and that's because I was applying a camera specific profile. Now you can do that inside of Lightroom but if you do a camera specific profile in Lightroom you are then unable to apply a lookup table on top of that whereas in Luminar we still are able to do that and that's brilliant. So if we come down to the mood section here this is where we're going to find access to our LUTs. So that is short for lookup table. This comes from the movie industry and it's basically a tool that takes the colors from your original photo and remaps them to slightly different colors or very different colors sometimes. So if I come to our drop down box here all of a sudden you can see that we have access to all of Luminar's LUTs that are built in with it and as I mouse over these you can see that we're getting distinctively different looks depending which LUT is being applied. The LUTs are organized into sections so this is the creative section, we've got cross processing, we've also got portrait toning as well so for example if I was to apply this Athena LUT and then I turn it off and on with the toggle button there you can see that we're warming up our image and that's really helping to enhance that beautiful warm evening feeling that I actually felt when I was there taking the photo. We have the ability to increase the amount, we have the ability to play with the contrast and add or remove contrast as well and we can also increase the saturation. So there's a lot we can do just within this one panel but I normally find a more subtle colour grade somewhere around Luminar's default of 30 is a more appropriate application for the LUT. So with just a slight adjustment to the sky, brightening of the model and that one tool here, if we go from before 
to after, we have got a massive dramatic change using these lookup tables. Using color grading is a really great way to influence the feeling and emotion of a photo. And that's why it's used so heavily within the movie industry is because colors are able to evoke different emotions. Of course, as well as using our mood tool, we're still able to access all of Luminar's other creative tools as well. But if you're after a quick fix in terms of color grading, this is your absolute go-to. And the other really great thing about using lookup tables is that if you apply that to a whole series of images, that's going to give that photo set a really consistent and cohesive feel. If you decide that you do want more LUTs than what actually ship with Luminar AI, they're actually really easy to get hold of. What you can do is come to the drop down box here and as you scroll through and come up to the top, you can actually download new LUT files. So click that and that then takes you directly to Luminar's marketplace, which is a fantastic resource for getting hold of things like LUTs, new skies, objects, textures, things like this. But for this one, what you can do is you can either purchase yourself a particular LUT collection if you like the look of it, but there are also some really good free ones as well. And if you wanna get hold of, say for example, these cinematic LUTs, just click the learn more button and you've got access to a before and after slider so you can kind of get a feel for what these LUTs do. And if it's something that you think, yeah, these would be really useful for my work, just simply click the download button and those will be downloaded for free to your computer. You simply unzip them. And from there, if we jump back into Luminar, we can just simply come up to the load custom LUT file. And then from there, you just navigate to the ones that you've downloaded. Woohoo, free LUTs. Now I am a massive fan of lookup tables because of how easy it is to give your photo a whole new look and feel just with the simple application of one lookup table. I have created my own LUTs, I've never shared them before, but if that's something that would interest you and you would like me to share these LUTs, just write please share your LUTs in the comments and I'll see what I can do if I get enough requests. Hey thanks so much for watching guys, I've really enjoyed making this video for you. I hope it's been helpful for you. If it has, please leave me a thumbs up. It means the world to me and I will catch you in the next video. Cheers for watching.